Hello, I'm Ali Suffren. Eight of Indiana's nine representatives voted in favor of the budget deal the House of Representatives passed Thursday aimed at averting another government shutdown. Democratic Congressman Pete Visklosky cast the one-no vote. Visklosky has not said why he voted against the bill, but as NPR reports, there are critics on both sides of the aisle. And Indiana's Catholic bishops aren't taking sides on a proposed state constitutional amendment that would define marriages between a man and a woman. The Indianapolis Archdiocese says the church upholds the dignity of those attracted to the same sex at the same time the church upholds the dignity and sanctity of marriage, a natural institution established by God. And two Indiana University faculty members are being nominated for Grammys. Sound media historian Patrick Feaster has been nominated for his CD and book Pictures of Sound, 1,000 Years of Adduced Audio 980 to 1980 in the Best Historical Album category. Feaster took a wide range of written records from medieval sheet music to Shakespearean scripts and used a computer program to turn them into audio recordings. He said his nomination is unlike anything that has been considered for a Grammy in the historical album category. To be eligible in the best historical album category, the source material for the project has to be sound recordings. And so simply by accepting that it was eligible in this category, I, I feel that I've made uh, my point. Also, Professor Wayne Wallace's work has been nominated for Best Latin Jazz Album. And now for a look at the weather. Winter storm warnings and advisories remain in effect until 6 p.m. Saturday. Three to five inches of snow are expected south of I-70 with two to four inches farther south. And a look at the five-day forecast. Light snow on Sunday and a 20% chance of snow on Monday. Tuesday and Wednesday look partly cloudy. For WTIU News, I'm Allie Suffren.